What's up, everyone? DJ Asperin here. Coming 101. Uh, finally found something I was looking for a very long time. And now I found it. Now it's fully complete. Let me show you what I found. Got my little box open. Sewer ball. Baseball right here. Same ideas of the Mad Ball. Because you know how they do that a lot. Like something's really popular. They had to make their version. Which I'm glad they did. This one doesn't have Don Tell's bow staff. Uh, 91. Of course, Raphael right here. It looks so sweet. This was the latest one I found at the, uh, what do we call them? Antique Mall. This one actually has his weapon. A little painted came off here and there from the last person who originally owned it. But don't worry, I'll take good care of you. There I go, 91. And then Leonardo, which is really weird looking. I mean, he looks pretty cool like this. 91. The why is weird, because look at the sword. I mean, one sword is longer than the other one. I don't know why they did that, but... Heater's about to turn off. That's why he's making that weird noise in the background. But he was in, he's in good shape compared with the other one. And then for last but not least, when I finally got out of the baseball one, I finally found a Michelangelo out the box. Dude, you guys rock it. Thank you so much. Look at that. Yeah, I swore I was going freaked out because last review I was doing this. I swore up and down I had a Michelangelo. I was freaking out. I was looking all over my place. And I'm like, do I? I swear I got about one. And oh, I guess I didn't. And now I have one. How cool is that? Look at all his chucks ready to fire up right at someone. I don't know why my camera's freaking out. And then last but not least, a giant football. Raphael. This is from what I remember, this is complete. The Frisbees do not count whatsoever. As somebody said the Frisbee were a part of the sports things, and I really disagree with that. That's a whole different kind of thing. But yeah, there's Raphael. Hey, if I didn't turn off. But yeah, squeeze the ball over. Ready to be going. I saw a Raphael one somewhere. I can't remember where it was. 91 right there as well. That it was completely flat. And I, they said, that, well, we just pump it up. Well, I was like, well, the guy right next to me has a pump thing. And we pumped it up and there was a leak. So thank goodness I didn't spend 30 bucks on a broken toy. But there you guys have it. Just want to share this with you guys. That uh, the baseballs were, these were the biggest things back in my days. I know that sounds weird to say when I'm old, but these were the things when we were kids to play with. I mean, we actually did play with these. So I'm excited to finally to get this complete, guys. I am so stoked. So all four of them were all from different um, places. How crazy is that? Let's see. This one, Toy Box, 80 Store, Antique Place, Out of the Box, and I try to remember where I got him at. I think it was at the, the Toy Box as well. But anyways, that is it, you guys. I want you guys to put your comments down below and tell me what you guys have some memories behind these bad boys. Uh, maybe you used to have them or you're looking for them or maybe this is your first time actually seeing this. Um, if this is your first time, put your comments down. Tell me what you think about these things. I like these things. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not a sports kind of guy, but when it comes to things like this, I am huge fan collecting you know, because I think they look cool like this. I mean, yeah, it is kind of a rip off of the Madball idea, but... Not too much because how different it is and how cool it looks. It's not all cheesy looking and all that stuff, but it's definitely worth having for your collection. So if you're just starting out collecting Ninja Turtle toys, these guys are the one you need to get in your collection. That's just my opinion. 
Everyone's probably has something different. I don't know, but these are a must have for your collection, guys. So put your like, like this review. Hopefully, it gives some ideas what's out there. Maybe, like I said, maybe you didn't know about this, or maybe you forgot about these things and realizing, oh my god, I remember seeing these when my my friend had it, or or you used to have it and you forgot all about it. You know, it's never too late to start collecting, guys. Seriously. I know a lot of people are in their late 30s, 40s, and 50s are just started collecting toys. So it's never too late, guys, and go down memory lane. So, all right, guys, that is it. Just going to wrap this up. Just want to share with you what I finally found. Jesus, it took forever, all these years, and finally I got it. So there you guys have it, guys. Uh, comments, push like, we like to review. Please share with other friends who maybe have a memory with this so you guys can share with each other um yeah write down your memories i want to hear them or read them really that is it take care of yourself guys and happy hunting everyone see you later